Knock Hill in reverse. We are car number eight, starting in ninth. This is, I've actually had a lot of fun running laps in practice. Uh, extremely tough. And we're going to be starting mid pack. And hopefully we can survive turn one. I think goal for this race is just be clean, try and be good in traffic. Um, some of these corners are so like blind, you have to start turning before you're even at the corner, which is insane. You just can't see the apex until you're there. But it's going to be crazy. Uh, we got Colton and Joe and Nick is in here and JP is back there somewhere. It's a lot of people we know. We're all starting towards the back. Hopefully we can be good. Uh, my best time in practice was like a 52.7 or a 52... I think one of the sessions I got a pretty low 52, like a 52.4 or something. But I only managed a 52.9 in qual. And as always, we got standing starts here, and I have not figured out how to time them so that I don't get all this waiting time or we start going immediately as I start recording. But we're figuring it out. Turn one's going to be really tricky as well. It's a very sharp hairpin here in the reverse version, as opposed to the regular version, which is the final corner. Oh, I hope I don't didn't just get a freaking delayed start there, or green false start. Flag, green flag. Okay, hopefully we can settle in. I was not full throttle very on early on there. Right. Clear on the right. Got one on Stacking your right. up big time here. Keep left. I was following those guys and they went off into the gravel. Keep left. That guy's All backing clear. off. Clear. And hopefully we can settle in here. That guy's spinning. Don't know why I'm braking for this corner. Whew! Scary start. This is a very tricky corner as well. You can't jump that too much or you get a pretty bad slowdown. We got a little gap here though. Like right at the green stuff, I kind of overdrove it. Almost two seconds to Joe behind us. He's usually in front of us somewhere. Oh, terrible. I had to really be careful not to overdrive that. That killed me there. This is killing me as well. Terrible couple corners. That was really bad. Let's not do that lap again. JP's in the pits. Settle in here. We're in eighth. I do a lot better in the lap if I don't overdrive that little kink there. Almost flipped over. There's a guy sideways. Overdrove this corner. Oh my gosh, this is so, so scary. We just had to muscle this car around here. 1.2 to Joe. Maybe slightly catch in the five. Need to get more consistent in this sector up here. I was doing good in practice, but as per usual in the race, I'm not as good. Five goes wide. Mm. 
you can pretty much take this corner full throttle. Okay, that was good. That last lap before this one was a 52.8 and I thought I did terrible. So that's crazy. That was a much smoother 52.7. Alright, that felt better. Always a lot better when I don't overdrive that section as well. Okay. Joe gets us, that's fine. We got a big gap behind us. We're in seventh, so... No worries there. That was a 52.5. Do not clip the grass or it will freaking pull you straight into it. That's one thing I learned as well. Okay. Probably way too slow there. Alright. 0.8 to Joe. 7 seconds to the guy in ninth. Joe gets to us, we're just gonna see if we can let him by. But if we can pull away and stay in front of him, that's fine too. Too fast through that. Slid through it a little bit. Whoa, I don't know what the heck was going on there. Car was like bouncing on two wheels. Okay, we got a 1x, but no slowdown. I got, I guess, loose out of one of those corners and just started sliding and bouncing. So I lost a lot of time to the five. And Joe got on us. Pretty close. Overdrove that. Alright, that was good. A little bit better, at least. That was a better hairpin than Joe had. Gained a little bit of time there, and then I shifted too early. Not gonna help. Five spun off into the gravel. So there's a free spot again. Puts us in sixth. Oh, this track is so fun. I mean, I was just having fun in practice doing laps. I don't have that very often anymore. But the way you have to throw this car around is crazy. Very difficult, but a lot of fun just to come out here and do laps.
five is still sitting there. It's kind of given up on life, I guess. <laughs> After taking himself out of it. Ooh, I always feel like it's not going to turn enough and I'm going to shoot off into the pits. But it sticks every time. So far, at least. Pulling away from Joe or hanging steady. Just need to not make any mistakes. guy's going wide. Oh. Okay. Thought I was going to get a 1x there. Cut it a little too close. I need white flag. <laughs> I, need, I need this race to be over so I can beat Joe. Though I might be catching the 16. He caught me really big behind me now. Overdrove that. Okay. Joe might end up getting me. But we might end up getting the 16. If I got a top 5, that would be freaking amazing. I wanted a top 5 last week after the kind of practice times I was putting down. But that didn't really work out. He's going really wide through that, getting onto that green stuff. I don't know if he's getting a 1x out there. Apparently not if he keeps running out there. How much time do we have left? Three minutes, oh my gosh. Seems like we've been out here forever. Alright, that was really good. That was a really good lap. Now I'm gonna have to try and figure out how I can pass him. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. I don't know how I'm going to. He's gonna block, I guess. You got one on your right. Still there? This is Hold scary. All clear, all clear. No way to pass him going into this corner. Need to get a run on him down this straightaway. But not anything there for me at the moment. Here comes Joe. Maybe I can follow him through. You got one on your left. Stay right. 
All clear, all clear. Hopefully he can get around him. I just had nowhere to go. I That whole last section of the track, you just can't go too wide. Feels like. Low fuel. Oops. Broke loose, had to catch it. This has been a really good race, though. Now he's going to get held up by this guy. He's going to get underneath him here, though. Maybe I can sneak under him, I don't know. Car on your right. I do. And we're going to clear him. So that's good. Thank you to Joe <laughs> for helping me with that pass. Now can I get Joe back? White flag. Come on, Joe, let me buy you. Not gonna have any room here. No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him because I'm not gonna be able to get too wide in this second half of the lap. I have to get a really good run out of the last corner and I haven't got one really this whole race. And then I don't do that very well. Nah, I'm not going to get him. That was a really good race. Good race, Joe. That was fun. Yeah, that was a blast. Ooh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, good race, guys. Well, good race to the 16, too. That was really fun. Really, really fun. There you go, man. Good job, driver. We got sixth, almost a top five. I think we were a little bit faster than Joe, but, I mean, we were pretty even. But once I got held up by the 16, he was able to get around me. But he did help me get through the 16, so that's good. Nick got 10th, top 10. Right behind Colton. And JP, I don't know what happened to him. Something, maybe incident at the start. I'll have to take a look. That was really fun. 52.5, my fastest lap. I ran pretty good. 52.8 at the end. I'm happy with those times. I've, I mean, it's a, about a second off of the fastest people, but I mean, usually I'm three or four seconds off. Oh, what did Nick do here at the start? Or nothing. All gold guy. Interesting. I don't know what it's showing me up here. Three wide up the middle for Nick. No. Is this thing already broken? Like, why are we... Control numpad 3 to skip to the next incident, and it keeps taking me to Nick. It's already freaking broken. We don't even get to see the incidents. That's stupid. Well, dang it. JP, is that all gold, or is that mustard? Just mustard color. I don't know. Uh, what happened to the 10? I think this happened right in front of me. He just clips those sausages there, and... Hard impact on the inside tires. I cannot believe this freaking incident thing is already broken. Well, we know some stuff happened in front of us. I don't know what else. I guess we can look at JP and see what happened to him. He goes a little bit wide there. Oh. Overdrove this corner. 
catches the gravel and then you hard time saving that. And then there's stuff that happened up here. We got a couple free spots. I think. Oh, go back. No. So the 12, or the 6, rather, he's bouncing and his car kind of skips sideways and that spins him out. I almost did that. There's another guy going off. What happened to him? He just overdrives it. Looks like he tried to correct it, but put too much wheel into it, maybe. And then... I know more stuff happened in front of me. Five goes wide one time. Eventually he goes wide too far. That sucks. Hopefully the incident thing is working for Nick, and we can just go look at that in his video. Be watching his video anyway. I wanted to see him now, though. Because <laughs> we're going to miss a lot of stuff towards the back. Look how bad he was sliding there. Way over driving it. And I probably heated his tires too much. Well, he caught the gravel. But that's a four-wheel slide. and Eventually leads to him spinning out. Yeah, next, next lap. He catches the gravel again. And slides through the corner. Would have been okay, but then he clips the wall and that turns him around. Not much damage. Well, I guess there's quite a bit of damage in the right, right rear. I don't think anything else really happened. I mean, we had a good little race with the 16 and the, and Joe here. So we're all tracking down the 16. That was the five sitting over there. Um. And I just got held up. Like we're tracking them down for most of the these last few laps. I'm really happy with how I ran that race. I felt like I did pretty well for me on road. Really satisfied with that. I got a couple off tracks, but it's road. You're expecting to get a couple off tracks. So I'm catch I catch them like on the exit of this corner, but I didn't really have a good enough run to get around him. So I'm looking to his right side. Then he's kind of holding off, so I'll go to his left side, but once we get up here, the track gets so narrow in this little turn here, and it, I've not once tried to go too wide through there, and here there's no way you can get too wide. So, like, I'm braking, holding off on the gas just because I'm behind him. But here I'm able to hit my line pretty well, but Joe's there. There I kind of, I'm slow. Here I was slower than Joe the whole time, so he gets a good run on me. And then, uh, gets underneath me. And then next lap, we just let him go. We had like 12 seconds behind us. Let him go, and then he's going to get a better run out of the last corner. Get on his inside, and then we can take advantage here into the hairpin. A really good clean race between all of us and I was able to get around him and pull away a little bit so that was that was really fun really enjoyed that that was really really fun